Hi, lovely people. So uh, we've had a lot of wonderful donations to the charities for Everyone Games. And so I wanted to draw who would be the lucky players joining us and do it publicly so everyone could see it's all transparent. Uh, let me share my screen. Uh, it's got to be this one. Hang on. uh, so hopefully you can see that. Let me get my face out of the way, the wonderful redders. Um, so yeah, uh, two charities are raising money for with our games on the 30th and the 1st. Um, people have donated to uh, two wonderful charities, the Everyone Can Expansion, um, which is helping uh, disabled kids uh, get the equipment they need to play games at their centre, um, and Stack Up, which helps support military veterans, uh, those who uh, want a game, and, and that they have a wonderful mental health support group as well. So if we go through, uh, we'll do this one first. Um, now, oh, for this one, the biggest donation um, was from Old Street Solutions. Full disclosure, that is me. Um, so I'm just going to add another hundred pounds to that and win this bit. Uh, slightly corrupt, but it's the good kind of corruption, right? Where more money goes to charity. So, yes, I will. Yeah, quadruple the second largest bid. Uh, and uh, yeah, the, claim the first place for that. And then uh, I will play uh, whichever table has a space for me that's convenient. There you go. I'm, I'm buying my way into this thing. I think I've earned the, the, the work I've put in this year. Um, so there you go. But there's other people that bid. There's Neil Godson, Brad's dad, uh, Mike Lawson, Jane Klein, and Grumpy Fella. Now, I've not done this before. I don't know how I'm going to reach out to these people, so wish me luck. But uh, I've already put their names into a hat. For every £10 they donated, I added their name onto the wheel, right? So Grumpy Fellow donated 30 Jane Klein uh, donated 30 Mike Lawson did 20 and Neil Godson did 20 Is that correct? Yes. Mike Lawson did 30 Let's make sure he's there three times. There you go. So for every ten pounds donated, you get a chance of winning on the on the spinny wheel. Uh, people can pause this video if they want to check. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll spin the wheel, choose a winner to play with us on the games, and uh, hope very much that, um, that I'm able to reach out to them in time to get them to play. If not, I'll save them a spot on next year's game. So there you go. Here, here it is, here it is, the wind spills, and it's going to be, oh, it's so close, it's Jane Car Klein, congratulations, Jane Klein, uh, I will, yeah, have to reach out to you, um, yeah, uh, and let you know the good news, that you are playing with us on a, a game that you can make with uh, some of your favourite influencers, awesome stuff, all right, and then the next one, uh, the fundraisers. So we've got uh, Zach Grant, a wonderful fella. He donated loads last year uh, to play at our main table. Uh, the wonderful people at Appfire like to reach out to them and thank them for their donation. I've tried to invite them to play, but because uh, they're the winning donation, uh, but they haven't. So uh, they've declined the offer. I don't think they have any D and D players with them. They're just in it for the charity. So, so that's nice. Uh, the Seesaw Podcast Boys and Johnny King. Uh, AKA Cerulean Rex, uh, sounds like a handle, should be easy to find, uh, has a wonderful message about his uh, respect and admiration uh, for the military and the burden those folks carry. Um, and he's donated twice. So, uh, I mean, I think Johnny King wins outright as the biggest donor. So congratulations, Johnny. Uh, I will be desperately trying to get in touch with you and find out where you found us on all the social media platforms I've been spamming. Um, and then, so I guess it's between Zach Grant and the Seesaw Podcast Boys. Um, and so because Zach did 50 and the Seesaw Podcast Boys did 25, um, I've just given, yeah, Zach twice the chances of winning, double the chances of winning to the Seesaw Podcast Boys. So good luck. Let's spin. Let's see who wins. Oh, 
Oh, it's looking like it's a Zach Graham. There you go, Zach. Once again, you uh, are a winner. So I will have you joining one of our, our tables you can play at. Um, thank you so much to everyone that bid. Um, we do still have two quite VIP guests, uh, but sadly, as they're in demand, uh, are unable to confirm their involvement in the event until late Thursday. So I will have one more auction. Um, uh, yeah, just to see if uh, we, we can raise a bit more money uh, having an A-list celebrity join us. But uh, thank you all very much. I hope that was all clear and transparent. If you have any questions, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. Um, take care. Really look forward to seeing you. We have on the uh, Friday the 30th, uh, this is 7 a.m. Eastern time. That's about midday UK time. Um, please check, right? Google and ask it what these times mean in your time zone. Um, but yeah, we start with a D and D history run by the wonderful Jesse, uh, and then we'll have some introductory panels. We have a Pathfinder game. Uh, Pathfinder's made a lot of work to be accessible, so that's going to be fantastic. And then we've got some advice on how to run uh, tabletop role playing game documents to make them more accessible. So if you're a, uh, a publisher in this space, I'd recommend that. Um, and 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 then yeah, we have the the wonderful poetry and practice. Uh, run by Honey and Dice. These are now clickable links, so you can see more about the games. Yep. So this will be the game with Luke Gygax, uh, Drunken Bard, Distortion Devil, and uh, two of my favourite YouTubers, uh, EJ from Non Compete and uh, T1J. So uh, yeah, I'm going to have to change this because the auction is no longer live. Thanks all very much. See you on the games on uh, Friday the 30th. And uh, Saturday the 1st is going to be really exciting. Take care. Raising money for great charities. Bye.